Jesse, I have another question, but I'll give the mic to someone else. No, go ahead. Go ahead. Um, this is a completely different subject, but um, I saw your interview with Blair White, that transgender guy that became a, a, a female. With all the makeup on or something? With all the makeup and oh, the long yeah. hair. Yes. And, and she's a Trump supporter. Right. <laughs> and uh, Wait, why? Who? she's a conservative, and she admits that the, the transgenderism is, is a mental disorder. Yes. So she's got no problem <laughs> saying that. Yes. And when you asked her about her parents and forgiving her in her childhood and all, and all of that, she basically described herself as having an ideal childhood. She doesn't have any anger for her parents, yet she still, or he still, um, is dealing with this mental issue, yes. disorder. So yes. how do you explain that then? If she, she did not inherit that anger from her parents, then why is she acting this way? And why you is she tell them the truth about it, but don't force it on them. Say, no, you do resent, because why would a, a man want to be a woman if he didn't resent his mother? Because he'd been told by the world there's something else other than whether you were born that way or blah, 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 right? And so you just tell them the truth and then leave it alone. So you didn't believe her, basically. You're saying no. when she told you that her childhood was perfect right. and her parents, you did not believe no. that that was true. Because a man is not going to dress up in a dress and put all that makeup on and be all woman-like if he had not been traumatized already. But you can't force it because some people are not ready for the truth right now. So we just become an example, show them love by not hating, mm -hmm. and tell them the truth, but don't, don't have an opinion about it. And mm -hmm. somewhere down the road, he may wake up and see it. Mm -hmm. Because you were like one of those Christians that tried to force the Bible on him. Mm -hmm. I was just wondering him. if someone that basically had a perfect childhood could still have that. No. Okay. Perfect parents raise perfect children. Imperfect parents raise imperfect children. You cannot be perfect and raise imperfect children or have an imperfect life. It doesn't match. Does that make sense? Yes. So when they tell you my parents are perfect, <laughs> either they don't know or they're lying or they are afraid. Mm. They're just not ready yet. Okay. Yeah. Thank you for that. You're welcome. Let me ask the young man next to you a question. How you doing, sir? Oh, I'm okay. Merry Christmas. This is your first time here? Uh, yeah. And what's your name? Shane. Shane? Yep. How did you find us, Shane? Uh, I was dragged here by my mom. Your mother dragged you? <laughs> Beta! Where's uh, your mother? That one. Oh, that's your son? <laughs> wow. He said that one. <laughs> and have you forgiven your mother? Uh, for what? For whatever she did wrong to you in your life. Uh, no. I, I don't know. Yeah. I don't. You have not forgiven her? I don't hold anything against her. How do you know? I don't know. Was she perfect while you were growing up? Nope. What did she do wrong, to, in your opinion? Uh, I don't know. Just kid stuff. I don't know. She what? I don't know. Uh, <laughs> she's a mom. I don't know. What does that mean, this is a mom? She did what thought she thought she was right. And what was that? Raise me. And how did she raise you and she thought it was right? Uh, I don't know. With, Manners, I guess. You have manners? I hope so. Why do you think you have manners? Because my mom raised me with manners. You have your mother's manners? Uh, I have my own. And where did you get your own from? I guess my mom. So you have your mother's manners? Well, I have my own beliefs on her manners, but I mean... What do you think about her manners? Uh, they work, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> You're not sure if they work? Uh, I guess. So you don't, you don't have any real answers? No. And, and why not? I, I don't know. How old are you? Uh, 26. Your mother wants you to have some real answers. That's why she brought you. Probably. Do you live with your mother? Yeah. Beta! <laughs> why are you living with your mother, man? Hey, not why is that? Uh, yeah, situation. What do you mean? Uh, I don't know. What? Uh, you put me on the spot. I don't I, well, I mean. <laughs> so you don't know why. You know you're living with your mother because of a situation, but you don't know what the situation is. Well, I do. What? Uh, you just can't tell me right now in front of everybody? Oh, I, I mean, I don't care. I mean. What's the situation? Uh, I drink too much. You alcoholic? Uh, not anymore, but. When did you stop drinking? <coughs> can't remember. A long time ago? Yeah. Years ago? Uh, no, probably this year. You, pro you stopped drinking. Hold on, Mingo. 
You stopped drinking probably this year? I think so. You were so drunk, you don't remember? No, it was forcefully. What was forcefully? I, well, it wasn't my decision to stop. Oh, it wasn't your decision to stop drinking? No. Who decision was it? My mom. Why, so why did you let your mother make you stop drinking? I, I honestly don't know. You want some alcohol? Sure. What do you drink? Uh, anything. Anything? Yeah, let's put it in Bring the Bring out the vodka. <laughs> <laughs> so you want to be drinking, right? Why do you, so you drink because, I mean, you stop because of your mother. Why did you start? It's fun. It was fun to drink? Yeah. It was fun about being an alcoholic. Mm, I don't know. So why do you want to stay an alcoholic? Because I enjoy it. And what's fun about it? Carelessness, I guess. So while you're drunk, you can be careless? Yeah. And what is carelessness? What do you do when you're drunk? <coughs> I don't know. Hang out with friends. I don't know. You hang out with other drunk friends? Sometimes. Those are not your friends. Those are alcoholics. I don't know. And so why don't you let him go so he can become a drunk again and be out in the streets? Where's the other mic, Joel? Uh, no. Uh, no, I want you to hold on to it, but I have some more questions. You don't, you, you don't want him to die? Yeah. So if you let him go, he may go out and die? He was close to it. He was close to death? In what way? He'd been drinking so much, his body was shutting down. Amazing. Was he living with you as an alcoholic? His father. He was living with his father. And who are you that you should keep someone alive? Mom. So, you, so is mom like a god or something? Nope. Well, who are you as a mother that you should keep him alive? Who am I? I the person that loves him the most. You love him the most? If you loved him, you'd let him go and let him die or live. It'll be up to him. He's 27 years old. He's 29 years old. He's 20. Oh, my God. <laughs> Beta! Even more so. <laughs> uh, because, God forbid, if something happened to you, he's going to go die anyway. So you might well let him die now so you can put some insurance on him and, and live wealthy. <laughs> you can get some of your money back for... <laughs> You made a horrible mistake by playing God with him. He has to care about his own life and what is right. And he may need to suffer before he cry out to God and overcome. And you're stopping that from happening. What do you think about that? I know I can't, I know I can't fix him, but I can't let him die. But he's going to die anyway. You can't stop it. He wants some more alcohol now. He probably got some at home under the bed, right? I, I wish. See? <laughs> <laughs> so you're not helping him, you're hurting him. Can't do it. What would happen if he dies? What would happen to you? I don't even know. You're going to be happy. You're going to be like, wow, he's dead. I ain't got to worry no more. It's hard. What? I've had too much death lately. I, I can't, I can't you, live like Oh, that. you've died before? Huh? You've died before, you say? No, I said I've had too much death in my life with. Does that mean you've died yes. before? Have I died before? Uh -huh. I'm sure I have. How you had too much death in your life? I just lost my mom. I lost my baby sister. But they died. You didn't die. I know, but... But you haven't had any death in your life. That's an illusion. Those people died. I remember one year my father died, and then one of my brothers died at the end of the year, and the beginning of the next year, another brother died. But I'm like, why are they all dying? And I realized they didn't take care of themselves. It wasn't my life. I wasn't dying. You're not dying. You're dying because you're trying to keep him alive, and he's killing you. Pretty much. It, huh? Pretty much. Yeah. And I don't so, understand why he doesn't care about himself. Because he hates you. 
He hates all women. And that hatred has him running. And that's why he's an alcoholic. He's not ready to overcome that yet. Why do you think he hate you? You said probably. Why do you think? What did you do wrong? I make him follow rules. His father never, his father doesn't make him follow rules. And I make him follow rules. And I, I make him take a shower. And make him, you know, be presentable when we go out in public. I, you I, are so I make wrong. him accountable. You, he's not accountable. You can't make someone be accountable. I know. So let him go. If you love him, is that right? What's your first name? Shane. Shane, is that right? Yes, sir. She should let you go, right? Uh, I don't know. Sure. And what, <laughs> what would you do, Shane, if she let you go? I don't know. If she said, you got to go, Shane. I'm not taking care of you anymore. You go out there, you figure it out. sink or swim. You figure it out, right? That's See? That's right. You're absolutely right. He hates you because you're making him stay there. I'm not making him stay there. I'm trying to get him healthy. He's in a very bad place. He doesn't remember a month ago. He doesn't remember the emergency room visits that I took him to. He doesn't remember. And your point? I don't know. I'm not patient. I'm not, I'm not. I'm terrible. I'm not patient, they'll tell you. <laughs> no, he hates you, and by keeping him, he hates you even more so. Ladies, this is for ladies only. Men hate women who try to change them. Whether you're the mother, the girlfriend, or the wife that cheated with them, or, or the mother that had babies out of wedlock for them, men hate women that try to change them. So you're making him worse rather than better. And he's not going to get better as long as you play God with him. I don't want to change him. I just want him to be healthy and happy. That's not your choice. Then if you do, pray for him, wish him well, and let God have him. Have you noticed that God will let you live on skid row? And he'll let you stay there, be an alcoholic, a drug addict, a sex addict, until you're fed up and say, hey, I'm wrong. I'm wrong about being this. I'm, I'm wrong for hating. I'm wrong for whatever. Then life will change. You're in the way of that. Who is responsible for you? So you're a grown woman, right? Yeah. And he's a 29-year-old grown man. Why do you think you need to be responsible for him? Because he wasn't, he wasn't owning up to his own problem. Well, he's never going to own up now. You're the welfare. What's going to make him own up now? He's not suffering the way he would on his own. What do you think about that, friend? You're her friend, right? What do you think about that? Um, well, I think that um, I understand what she means by, you know, you don't want to let someone die because I didn't want to let my husband die. It's not your responsibility. It's not my responsibility. So and why it, take on that kind of responsibility for exactly. life and death? Yeah, it's not her responsibility because he's an independent adult. Well, he's not independent. He's an adult, well, but he's, he's not adult, very independent. And he should be independent. Yeah. And will he ever become independent living with his mother? No. Have you told her that? I think I did the other day in the car Yeah. when I told her about this place. Uh, what do you say to her? Last comment on this. So, so what? Um, you don't want to tell your sister the right thing? I don't, I don't know what to say. You don't know what to say? You've done the same thing? Uh, you did the same thing? Well, no wonder. Uh, don't you feel for her, though, that she's killing herself trying to save him? <laughs> you do feel for her. Yeah. Uh, yeah, what do you say about it? Um, my mother is going through the same agony and with my little sister and I see how that's like eats her alive yeah um, you know my <coughs> mom has done paid so much money and invested so much on my little sister to keep her out from jail and she just doesn't learn yeah. and you know she keeps making mistake after mistake and when you talk to my little sister, she's so entitled and has all this anger towards my mother. Because her mother's the welfare. And exactly. And she and just you absolutely are too. Keeping her hates out of jail. her. Well, you know, I, I'm not anymore. 
I, I said it, like, you're on your own, and I did tell her that. You, something happens to you, I, I'm not keeping you out. I'm, I'm not, whatever my yeah. mom tells me, I'm just you not, that, right? you have to learn. Yes. And, um, and I told my mother that, and actually, I've been talking to my mom. My mom has started to cut my little sister off. My little sister is going crazy and wild, but her hatred towards my mom, it's so immense. She can't even see anything past anything, and she's like, well, I do this because then that gets my mom's attention. And I'm like, no, you're hurting yourself because you want to. Yeah, right. She can't help and, it though. Her mother trained her to be that. Yeah, way. And, you know, and, and so what I'm saying to you is <clears throat> you're not doing him a favor. And it's, you're only hurting yourself. And, and, and it's hard because I see it in my own family with my mother. And it even took me a while to understand because I was the one always flying to New Orleans, trying yeah. to get my sister out from jail going to court and, and doing all this stuff. I saw my mother lost half her inheritance, just pain. My sister almost killed someone. The kid was in a coma out of a joke. And you know, and they, they do all this stuff and, and it's just like my mom kept feeding on her and she just wasn't learning. She wasn't getting anything out of it. Yeah. And finally, right now, she's, she's on her own. She's panicking, she doesn't know what to do. But it's just something she just has to learn. She has to learn on her own. That's the only no, way no she can learn. No, no, can help her. We've done. We did. We thought we were doing something to help her, but we actually were not. She only kept getting worse. But is she only being bad? He's having medical issues and memory issues and a lot of other things. So is he having those memory issues and getting worse because uh, being an alcoholic and not being responsible for himself? I don't know yet. We're I'm waiting. We're waiting on doctor's appointments right now. Uh, so were you mental before you moved with your mother? Mental. You have mental issues. Uh, I, I guess. Like what, for example, Shane? What's up? What type of mental issue you you guess you have? Uh, yeah, he's on the mic. Speaking to the mic, Shane. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I mean. Why your mother thinks you have mental issues? Uh, I don't know. What do you think about the fact that she think that? That's her opinion. Why do you think he have mental issues? He doesn't remember three days ago. Because he's an alcoholic. <laughs> alcoholic don't remember a day ago, an hour ago. But he hasn't drank in five months. He got to get his brains back. I hope that's possible. It is if you leave him alone. Shane, do you wish your mother would let you go? That's her decision. I don't... What do you wish? I don't know. Would you rather stay with your mother or be on your own? Probably be on my own. You'd rather be on your own? I guess. Yes or no to it? Uh, yeah. You'd rather be on your own? Yeah. What do you think about that? I would love that. He hasn't had a job in five years. He'll get one. Or you eat from the trash can. <laughs> he has some good food in the trash can. <laughs> That's in the, in the United States. <laughs> um, do what you think you want to do, but my best advice, if you want your son to get well, to be an independent man, to be a human, you got to apologize for what you've done to him and let him go. But be ready. If he should die, he just die. If he lives, he'll live. But you got to let he's not going to make it living with you. It's not going to happen. And then if you die, he'll find another woman to live with, and she'll become his mother. And there's nothing worse than women trying to take care of other men and adults, children, boys, uh, women, or men or women. Women are not God. And what you do, you kill the very person you're trying to help. I don't want it. I don't want to do anything but get him well. Then so let him he go. Can be that person. Then pray for him. Ask God to let his will be done. Let him go. Let him suffer. And wish him well. He's not going to get better. I'm, I'm dealing with a 68 or 69 year old man right now, still living with his mother. And he, he got sick. He can't make it now because he hated her so much. And he's been hating her for years, but he couldn't move because she make him stay there. She figured out ways to make him stay. Oh, I don't know. It's caused me more grief. I've been on my own 
since his father and I split. We didn't let him go. He's a grown 29-year-old. But think about it. Are you doing a silent prayer? Your friend said no, and you said yes. <laughs> Her friend went, and she went. Am I, are you being, so, am I praying or not? Yeah, are you doing a silent prayer? What's the difference between praying and silent prayer? When you do my silent prayer, you be still and know God. And we do the word in prayer, you're talking about God. Uh, I say my prayers at night. Do know. both of them. Do the silent prayer too. Your friend will teach it to you, show it to you. Silentprayer.video. Because you need some help. You got to let, let shame go. And you clearly are not ready for that. Do you feel guilty about shame? Possibly. Well, why? Why do you feel guilty? Because when his father and I split, it was very ugly, and he got shuffled around a lot. And I felt like I damaged him. Well, just apologize for it, and then let God will be done. And let him know he needs to drop his anger for that. It is hard on kids when that stuff happens, but you can help yourself at the time. So apologize and let him go. And let the guilt go, too, because your guilt is causing you to kill him. Am I right about that? Yeah. Let him have the mic so you can hear him. Right in front of you in the blue shirt. Am I right about that? Yes, sir. Yeah. When I was a kid, uh, we had a stove in the house. And my mom always corralled me away from it. Always. So I was very curious about that stove. And one day my grandfather was around and he saw me looking at that stove. He said, you want to touch that stove? And I said, yeah. He said, go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Never did that again. That's right. I remember once, I've told this story before, we had this big oak tree in the yard, our front yard down in Alabama when I was growing up. And I used to, as a kid, I used to always climb that tree. And my grandmother said, boy, you better stay out of that tree. You're going to fall out and break your head. And I'm like, no. I, I didn't listen to her. And one day I climbed all the way up and fell out of the tree on all these roots and everything. And I started crying. She like, don't be crying to me. I tried to tell you. <laughs> I've never climbed that tree again. <laughs> you got to let, let them feel the pain. You apologize for your mistakes. All people make mistakes in race because they're in a fallen state. And then let him go and let him figure his way out. God will help him if he want God. And not you. Women, stop this. Oh, um, what's wrong with, and then I come to James real fast and we'll start winding down. What's wrong with women? They feel they need to save people. So in women in general, and probably also in this case, it is they take on a caregiver role. A care, and like they, the welfare? Yes. So oh. you, you, it's very similar. So as a, caregiver, as a caregiver, once you identify yourself as that, and if she does let him go do his own thing, now she, is, that's not part of her identity. And a lot Whoa. of them, when they, when they have that identity, it's more about them than it is who they're helping, but they can't yes. see that because it's a part of their identity. So one thing that could help is try to figure out, again, look within yourself who you are That's and right. just let go of that part of your identity. It's not about your son. It's about you. You feel good. You feel holy. You feel right for doing this. You're not thinking of him at all. A lot more peaceful when he was with his dad. Right, so let him go back. That's fine. He said he doesn't want to be with you. He want to leave. He wish you let him go. Are you going to keep him there against his will? No. Are you going to let him go? If he wants to, I told him. I, I told him he can leave. Shane, get out of there. Okay. And suffer and die. Okay. <laughs> Either you make it or you die. That makes sense. Yeah, I agree. And if we can help you counsel with you or help you in any way. Let us know. We'll help find jobs and all that kind of stuff. But you got to start fighting for your life. Okay. You have a girlfriend? Nope. You had one? Yep. What happened to her? Uh, broke up. She left you? Yep. Uh, because of what? Uh, I don't know. Beta! <laughs> yes. Yeah. Forgive your mother so that you won't end up with a woman like that. Your mother did the best she can do. She feels guilty now, which is wrong. And that's why she's holding on to you. But think about that, okay? And when you do it, make sure you see it, not because I said it, but because you see it as the right thing to do, and everything will be well. All right? You hear me?
Uh, OK, 